Hey, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can annotate an image on your Chromebook. Now, to do this, we're going to use Google Keep, which you can find at keep.google.com. And I've previously downloaded an image to my Chromebook, but if you don't have any images downloaded, a good place to go is to go to pixabay.com. And I have a picture here of a lighthouse that I'm going to use, or I want to find a picture of a lighthouse. And so I want to go and find that picture. And I'm on Pixabay, and I found this picture here. And I can right-click and save that image as. By the way, everything on Pixabay is in the public domain. And then you can select your Downloads folder, or you can save it directly to Google Drive. Either way will work. Now, here in my Google Keep, and I'm in one of my folders I just created here, let's go and add a new note with an image. And so for my downloads, I'm going to select my Lighthouse image. And I can write a note about it, and I can say something like, um, this lighthouse is in Cape Elizabeth. But if I want to draw on top of this image, let's go ahead and double click on it and open it up. And now in the upper right hand corner, we have a little pen icon. And we can now draw on top of the image. We can select the color that we want to use. We can select the size of our marker, and change different colors there. Now I can go and I can draw directly on the image wherever I want to. Now I just hit the back button and it's automatically saved into that note. Now, if you just want to draw notes, you want to sketch a note, you can do the same thing by just clicking on that pencil icon. Then you can go in and you can start writing directly into the note. Now, if you have a touchscreen Chromebook like an Acer R11, you can do this even more easily by just touching your screen as opposed to using your mouse. Again, hit the back button, now you can save it. So using Google Keep is a great way to annotate images on your Chromebook. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.